Uh, so we have this expression 5x plus 9 plus 2x times quantity 3x plus 7 plus 13. And we just want to simplify this expression. So, well, wait. I don't want you to write this. I know that it kind of seems counter to what I usually say. I want, the thing that I want you to do there is the, the homework review. Here I just want to kind of like verbally and communally work on this together. Otherwise, we're going to have like an example. So I want this to be blank. He doesn't want to do it. that you have. He doesn't I want that to, to be for the homework review. This I just want to work through it together, kind of verbally and up here. But I want you to keep that piece of paper blank. <laughs> I'm going to talk about it all right, together, work through it together, and then you're going to do it on a blank piece of paper on your own. All right? I don't want to just throw you into it. I wanted to give you a refresher. I'm so scared. Ready? If you can do this, if you're ready to do that, you'll be fine on the review, so don't worry about it. All right. Uh, so we do, what would you do first? Your distribute, we'll go ahead and distribute 2x times 3x, that's not enough. 2x times 3x is what? 6x squared. Good, square. Don't forget the square. 2x times negative 7. Minus 14. Mm-hmm. 14. We have a plus 13 there in the end. We still have 5x plus 9. And we're adding a positive 6x squared. 6x squared will go down first. OK, there are no other x squared terms. Uh, 5 minus 14. 5x minus 14x is negative. Negative 11. Negative 11. X squared. Negative 9, actually. Negative 9x. Negative 9x. Oh. No, 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 no,
we can account for those with like positive and negative confusion, uh, Ooh, combining things that are not alike. Combining things that are not alike. Okay. But again, there's some other ones that uh, need a little more attention there, so I'm going to try and get through there today. Um, but if we work on that, I think if you pay close attention to that, you, you try it again. In fact, let's. Let's try another one. I'm just going to throw one up there. Okay, this is just for you, for your notes. Write it down uh, for yourself. See if we can improve on what you just did. Okay. See if we can get some improvement there. Let's say we took 5x minus 3x times x. So we'll just go ahead and jump right here to the distribution. We'll distribute the 2x. 2x times 5, 10x. Positive 2x times negative. 6x <coughs> squared. Minus 8. 5x minus 3. is a positive 10. Adding times. 12x squared. 12x squared. 5x and 10x. Negative 3 plus negative 8 is negative 11. There we go. Now, I'm going to just put just another thin layer on top of this idea of distribution. Okay. Really what we're going to do today is more distribution. It's just distribution of a more complex thing. So let's review what we did at the end of the last class, because maybe you didn't uh, catch all of it, or maybe you weren't even here. So let's say we have 5 times parentheses x plus 2. Now let's distribute that. I don't think we've got any trouble by this time today. Distribute the 5 to the x, we have 5 times x plus 5 times 2, 5x plus 10. Distribute and multiply both of the things by 5. Okay, let's try something else. <coughs> let's distribute an x. Hold on. I know this. Jenna? 1x plus 2. What's that? 1x plus 2. 1x. We're multiplying x, x by x. We get x squared. Mm -hmm. Multiplying x by 2. 2x. Right. x squared plus 2x. So far, so good. We've distributed a couple of different things. That's so we're going to kind of up the stakes. We're going to just keep distributing different things over and over and over. All right. We're just going to keep putting different things in this spot and distributing it. Let's say in that spot we put a y. Not you, not you, not you. Oh. <laughs> Target us, yeah. Um, there you go. X. X times Y, which X, Y would mean to X times Y? And plus 2Y. Exactly. Wow. Okay? There's three things we distributed. We distributed a 5, then an X, now a Y. Kind of exotic. Okay, let's put something else in there. Like a chocolate chip cookie. All right, so if I put chocolate chip cookie out there, Ariel? X chocolate chip cookie. Okay, I'm just going to write it in this order, but you're exactly right. Chocolate chip cookie times X. Two. Plus two. Two times a chocolate chip cookie. Yeah. Do you have a chocolate chip cookie? I wish. No, I don't. <laughs> You get the idea? Yeah. yeah. We distribute. We're going to multiply by both things. Back it up. Back it up. Okay, here's the, here's the real thing. That's something you probably want to write in your notes. We're going to distribute an entire parentheses. That parentheses is going to be another thing that looks like this. Okay. If, you're, if you want to jump the gun here and, and say, well, what about this? Please do. Just what I'm asking you to do here, all right? So let's distribute 
like a 2x minus 4. Okay? We put 5 there, we put x there, we put y there, we put we go right to chocolate chip cookie, we put chocolate chip cookie there. We just distributed that thing, whatever it was, to both of these terms. So let's do that with that whole thing. Okay? In your notes, write what that looks like. If I were to take this whole parentheses and distribute it to the x, distribute it to the 2. Parentheses as, as chunked together, blocked out together as one thing. Okay, so whatever is there, we're going to take that and multiply it by first x. Right, so we get x times <coughs> whatever is in the parentheses. Well, in this case, it's a chocolate chip cookie. Plus, we distribute it to the two. We have two times whatever is there. So instead of a chocolate chip cookie, in this case, we have two x minus four. 
over. So we distribute the 2x, all of it, 2x minus 4 to the x, x times 2x minus 4. Just like we had x times chocolate chip cookie. And then we distribute the whole thing to the 2, right? And we're going to add, add 2 times 2x minus 4. Okay. If you were doing what I asked, that's what I asked you to do. That's exactly where I want you to be. Well, I did, uh, so you know, I, I guess added the distribute. Like, it's right, but it's, oh. I distributed. Okay, so so far we have distributed the whole parentheses to each of these terms. Okay, any questions so far? Distributed that thing, whatever it is, it's one big thing inside the parentheses, it got distributed as an entire unit to the x and then to the 2. Okay. Now. Yeah, we did wrong. To continue. Those in the year two and a four, yes. To continue. You said you were. How would I simplify this part? Distribute the x, right? I'm multiplying something by parentheses, right? Parentheses that has addition or subtraction in there, so I distribute the x. 2x squared plus 4x times 2x. 4x times 2x. 4x. Yeah. Well, that's what I did, but then, like, I just did, like, instead of doing that, I just did. Yeah, well, I'm having you do it this way um, for a specific yeah, case. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we have negative 4x plus 4x, so that's a total of 0. So 2x squared minus 8 would be fully simple. <coughs> Let's try that again. Let's do that. That's a great idea. So let's take the parentheses 3x plus 7 and distribute into that the parentheses or x plus 2. So first, distribute this parentheses into this one. And just start with that. <coughs> Is, are there different ways to do things? Yes, there are always different th ways to do things that I ask you to do and that anybody else asks you to do. You can always do it in different ways. And I'm not trying to say this is the only way you'll ever multiply one set of parentheses by another, okay? But the way that you've been taught in the past probably was here are the steps for doing this and you memorize those steps. I'm trying to put a little bit more back in your hands, a little more power, a little more knowledge, a little bit more of a depth of understanding of why those steps work, okay? And it all comes down to we're just distributing. We're just using the distributive property over and over. It's as simple as that. So if your friend says, I don't get why that works, or I don't think that's right, I got this answer, I think you're wrong, I think whatever. You say, we're just doing this, we're just distributing it over and over. I have something, okay? Never mind what it looks like for the moment, but I'm multiplying it by these parentheses. Okay? I know that I would use a distributive property for that. It's just for just a five or an x or anything, I would just distribute it to both of those terms. So this is what it looks like to distribute it to the 3x. 3x times 4x plus 2. Okay. What's it going to look like to distribute the 4x plus 2 parentheses to the 7? Shelby? Plus 7. Plus 7. Parentheses 4x plus 2. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so that step is done. What have we done? We've just distributed. we just used the distributive property yeah. one time, one. which is no big deal. We've distributed it once to. Oh, oh, okay. We're about to use it so we just distributed the thing outside the parentheses into every term in the parentheses. If I want to continue further from there, how do I <coughs> multiply these together? Distribute again. 3x times 4x is 12x squared. 3x times 2 plus, plus 
Uh, 7 times 4x is 28x. 7 times 2 is 14. We have like terms here, 12x squared plus 34x plus 14. Can this be arrived by other means? Yes, we can do it in other ways. Okay. We could make it, we could do it in a way that seems more simple. We could do it in a way that seems incredibly more complicated. What we're doing here is seeing why the thing that you probably were taught to do, why it does arrive at the correct result, okay? It's just distributing and distributing it again. And if there was another layer of distributing, you distribute again. So we'll do another one. We'll do it a little bit faster. Um, works. Let me see. Oh, there are other ways to do this. I'm just asking you just for today, just as we're kind of trying to go deeper into this topic, just do it the way I'm showing you just for today. <laughs> what about if you just ask me about that? <laughs> Right there. Why don't you show us that? All right. Let's all sit in chairs. I think that's too much to ask. And go ahead. So we're going to distribute this entire parentheses to here. That's going to look like what? Negative 2x times 4x minus 6. Right? We've got to distribute the 4x minus 6 to the negative 2x. There it is. <coughs> so you distributed the 4x minus 6 to the 5 as well, and that's what that looks like. Okay. If we're going to distribute anything, that's exactly what we would be doing. We take the thing, we multiply it by negative 2x, take that thing, multiply it by 5. There it is, we just showed exactly what we're about to do. We're going to multiply those things together. So what would it look like to multiply the negative 2x by the parentheses 4x minus 6? Somebody new? Mm -hmm. Heard from Shelby, I've heard from Jim, mm -hmm. I've heard from Ariel, mm -hmm. heard from Ramey. And you refuse to let me say. Carson already. I vote Johnny. I vote Wyatt. Yeah, I vote Wyatt. 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 Yeah, yeah, Wyatt. Wyatt. It sounds like Wyatt. Yeah, go Wyatt. Wyatt, how would I multiply the negative 2x by the parentheses 4x minus 6? You distribute it? Distribute it, okay, so we're going to distribute it. And. When we strip the negative 2x to the positive 4x, it gives us what? Oh, are you asking? I'm asking why it again, yeah. Negative 20? Look what we're doing up here. I think you just have a different order. Oh, negative 2x times 4x. Um, negative 8x squared. Yes. And the negative 2 distributed to the negative 6. Mm, negative 12x minus 12x. So close. Negative times negative. Oh, positive. Positive 12x. I can't see. It's pretty far. It's pretty far back. Okay. Then we add whatever this is. What is this? It's 5 times its parentheses. How do we multiply the 5 by the parentheses? Distribute. Distribute again. 5 times 4x is, they all said, 20x. 5 times negative 6? Negative 30. Right? And then, like everything is... It's free. There's no more parentheses. Everything's been taken care of. We have like terms that we can combine, so we will do that. 12x plus 20x is 32x minus 30. Yeah. Okay. This is what I like to call. Listen, this is what I like to call double distribution, because that is very accurately what it is. When you hear it called FOIL, that's a nice thing that a nice person tried to do for you because they're very nice, but it also does FOIL. It's just a, a helpful little acronym to help you remember oh, the 
right, steps to get the product of these two parentheses. What we are doing is almost exactly the same thing. I mean, the steps are almost literally the exact same steps, except for this little in-between step, where the truth is revealed, right? It's just distribution and distribution again, double distribution. But again, we call it FOIL, now all that truth is lost, and if it didn't cause any damage, I wouldn't, I wouldn't make a big deal about it, but it does, because when we think that the way to multiply parentheses by parentheses is this thing called FOIL, I've seen lots, a high percentage of students be confused by, well, I thought it was FOIL. Well, it's, it's FOIL works if you have two terms multiplied by two terms, but as soon as we start to add layers of complexity on that, it really no longer works, okay? But here's what, here's what this nice person who invented, let's say that there was a person who invented FOIL, here's what they did, they noticed a pattern, okay? Do you notice a pattern, yes. maybe just between these two, when I distribute this parentheses to this term and this term, okay? and then I take each of these terms gets a 4x plus 2. And I distribute the 3x to the 4x and the 2. I distribute the 7, again, to an identical 4x and a 2. Okay. What we wound up doing was every term in this parentheses got multiplied by both of these, 4x plus 2. Right? This step was exactly that. 3x times 4x is 12x squared. 3x times 2 is 6x. Okay. Uh, you might see that as uh, first. <coughs> okay, and then you know, this isn't exactly fit outside, but it does get 3x times 4x and 3x times 2. And then later we do 7 times 4x and 7 times 2. What I'm trying to draw your attention to is we can, if we're clever and, and uh, diligent enough, we can cut this step out by saying all that's gonna happen when I distribute these parentheses to the 3x and to the 7 is that this 3x is gonna then in the next step get distributed to the 4x and to the 2, and then the 7 is also gonna get distributed to the 4x and the 2. So if, really if I make sure that I multiply everything, every term in here, by every term in here, I should arrive at the correct product. Okay. So there's a little shortcut that we can do. We can cut out that, that first step right there just make sure we multiply everything by everything else. And we have a nice little quick step towards the, the correct answer. But when we do that, oftentimes we don't understand why it's working. And this explains it's just double distribution, as they call it. Okay. Now, what if I wanted to distribute parentheses 2x minus 7 times 4x squared plus 3x minus 2. Well, if I want to multiply this parentheses by these three terms, right? what if I, I mean, how would I distribute something into this parentheses that has three terms in it? Just three. So all three of them, yeah. right? So this would look like 4x squared. Or you could even just do it the other way. And you're just distributing the other way. Yeah. You can do that. You can distribute, instead of distributing this to all three, you can distribute all three of these to both of these. Just go the other way. There and there. That looks like 2x times 4x squared plus 3x minus 2. Okay, we have a negative 7 there, so minus 7 times 4x squared plus 3x minus 2. That's just distributing as well. Yeah, I could have just as easily put this parentheses on the left and this one on the right. And if we went left to right, that's exactly what we wanted to do. Well, we already started it. Can we continue? Maybe? Can we continue from this step? Of course. What do we do? Take those in the 4x Because you have an x times an x times an x, which is x to the third. Five. 
six x squared right. minus four x. Uh huh. That's and beautiful. Put Keep on going. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um. Twenty-eight. Is it positive or negative? Oh. Wait. Negative twenty-eight. X squared. Uh huh. Plus twenty-one. Plus 21x? Minus 21. Negative 7 times 3, so it should be a plus and negative 21x. But then it plus after the 21x. Negative 7 times negative 2? Positive. Positive 14, negative 7. Negative times negative. And now we look for like terms. We have 8x cubed, there's only one of those x cubed terms. But here's an x squared term and an x squared term. 6x squared minus 28x squared. What's that? x squared minus 28x squared. 6x um, squared minus 28x squared. Uh, 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 yeah, 22 squared. What's that? 22 squared? Almost. Almost. Uh, <laughs> 6x squared minus 28x squared. 6x squared minus 28x squared. Negative 22. Oh. x squared. Negative 4x. Minus 21x. 25. Negative 25x plus 14. I count me as right. I count what I said as right. I can't say it out loud, but when I do it on paper, I always do it. I just never say it. Negative 23. Alright. Now, we're going to give you some. Practice to do is it's double distribution. Uh, see how you do, and I'll come around to see if anybody needs help.